Today I want to present some features on ter of interactive um, geometry package for Möbius invariant geometry, uh, which uh, define transformation of figures. Uh, there is uh, an excellent book, Indra Pearls, uh, which consider mathematical aspects um, of a group of symmetries generated by reflection in a finite set of initially finite set of circles. Of course, uh, such a beautiful <coughs> subject has excellent illustration. And in uh, chapter 4, there is what is called Schottky dance. Uh, this is an um, illustration of it where we have uh, four circles, uh, initial large one. When we make um, first generation reflection, yellow, uh, which are uh, just reflection in these initial circles. Then uh, we build second generation reflection, green one, then blue one, and so on. So that is uh, how that um, type of uh, symmetries are produced. And this is particular kind of um, uh, illustration, which uh, rather easy to create using our interactive geometry package. So um, when we do um, uh, generation of such reflection, we obtain some very fine uh, fractal type structure. <coughs> Here you can see what where is nested um, sequence of circles when we are digging down where a very small one which you can just uh, see as small <coughs> particular um, circles of almost dots on this illustration. So, um, I will show today how uh, easily built this type, uh, built and investigate this type of uh, illustration. So, <clears throat> but we will start from the basics. So, uh, first we will see what are um, uh, particular type of transformations related to reflections. Let us start from very uh, simple picture, which consists just from one circle and the real line. So we will move slightly that circle. And then we will do <coughs> reflection of this circle in the real line. So real line has a key R. So we just make a transformation, which is a reflection in the real line. So obviously <coughs> a circle uh, jump it on the other side. Uh, in many cases, we want to keep initial position of the figure and its image together. So there is that box here, which can be uh, ticked to preserve all circles. And if we will create uh, um, new circles uh, to avoid duplication of names, there is here rules which say how names shall be transformed. Uh, that rules are written using the <coughs> Uh, regular expression, but even if you are not familiar with regular expression, you will see how to uh, use already uh, existing um, <coughs> rule here uh, to uh, re um, produce a reasonable result. So, when we are <coughs> making this type of reflection, we get the another circle A1, which is, of course, a reflection of um, initial circle in the real line. <clears throat> well, uh, besides of reflection in the cycles uh, which are already on the picture, we can do other transformations um, which are uh, defined by the um, corresponding Möbius matrices. For example, we can shift our cycle, say, by two units. Again, <clears throat> we just need to enter numbers which are different from zero. So uh, that is upper triangular matrices which define such type of shift. So maybe shift by three units even, <coughs> make it more transparent. And this time we will uh, change this letter here to T, saying what we are making translations. So when we 
make this transformation, <coughs> we will get a second uh, set of cycles uh, with that index t, which are obtained by the uh, shift by three units of initial cycle to the right. Uh, another types of transformation, uh, if we allow imaginary numbers, for example, rotation by 190 degrees, uh, by 90 degrees, so given by a matrix with imaginary unit in first position and just one in the second position. So we make this transformation, that will be the rotation, so we change letter to the R. Uh, yes, <coughs> uh, we have here two copies of real lines. Uh, so this is translated copy of real line, and this is copy of real line, which are <coughs> rotated by 90 degrees, so they are presented as vertical lines. So um, it became a little bit uh, uh, more messy, our picture today. Uh, so this is the shift, so you can see <coughs> these uh, four circles, they are rotated by 90 degrees and then translated. So <clears throat> here is uh, the rules how the transformation are applied. So initial circle A first <clears throat> rotated and then <clears throat> we have a shift uh, by uh, three units which are allowed uh, by this transformation. So uh, this is basic of our uh, transformations and let us start from the scratch. Uh, this time real line will not play role, so we just make it invisible. And we just add two uh, circles to our consideration. Uh, radius square root of 2 and radius square root of 3. <coughs> uh, so this is our circles A and B. Uh, we want to make it a bit more colorful. So we add color to the circles. <coughs> and let us uh, slightly shift them. to this position. <clears throat> so let us uh, save that picture for the further usage. That will be our two circles. And we start to produce transformation. So first we will do reflection in the cycle A. So this is became the reflection of cycle B in cycle A. So it has sub-index 1. So we may experiment to see how this uh, cycle B1 will look like in different positions. Uh, then let us repeat procedure. Now we will do reflection in cycle B. So that will be with sub-index 2. Now we have both A and B1 reflected in B. B2 which appears here it's a cycle which coincides uh, with initial cycle B actually. So we may check what uh, check relation to B2, uh, what it's uh, different from cycle B. It's not different, so it's false. So <coughs> that is means what uh, it's actually coincide <coughs> with cycle B. Uh, when we do again uh, another reflection in cycle A, so it will be with number 3. So uh, here is how our reflected cycles are looking. 
when we have with uh, reflections. And actually, you may already notice uh, what uh, uh, reflected cycles are belong to the pencil, which is formed by initial cycles A and B. So we may verify that condition as well. So let's check it for cycle A2, what it is the check relation, what it is in pencil, spawned by A and B. <coughs> yeah, I'd uh, say it's, it's almost true, almost because uh, we have here some uh, numerical uh, calculations, so uh, there are some rounding errors. And uh, for this reason, we just uh, have approximate identity, almost true, what we can say. Again, that relation <coughs> is preserved, whatever is a disposition of our cycles. So we have that uh, other cycle to be uh, belonging to the pencil. So A2 belong to the pencil span of A and B. Uh, let make our figure more involved. So let us uh, open figure uh, which we did before. With um, our two circles. So we add now the third circle to our consideration. So again, you can choose some color to distinguish it from others. So let's move it to some position where it will not intersect. <coughs> <clears throat> and we will make uh, now a reflection in corresponding, ah, we will save it as um, the free circle. For later usage. So um, we start reflection. So as usually in A. So just two circles are reflected here. When we start to make reflection in B, so it will be second transformation. Now the next order is already reflected here. And finally in C. And that can be continued. So probably again we will make uh, labels invisible. It's um, easy to see what uh, uh, new circles reflected somehow uh, arranged around certain other circle, which in the book uh, Indra Pearls called Ghost Cycle. So Ghost Circle. Uh, how to uh, construct it? Let's make that ghost visible. So we choose relation to be orthogonal to initial three circles, which we have in our picture. A, B, C, orthogonality. So we choose relation to be orthogonal. And then we create this circle. <coughs> so you can see what reflected circles are also orthogonal to that ghost circles, which we constructed with the name D here. And actually, we may verify that property. So let us check, for example, what with circle B123 uh, has orthogonality relation to uh, cycle D. So we check what it's orthogonal to cycle D. Yes, this is a true relation, so we may put it to the watch area. So, as we can see <coughs> here, uh, 
Uh, so that is a true relation. So let's uh, move our cycles a bit. So as you can see, that relation remain true. Whatever we do with our cycles, so <coughs> the relation uh, what uh, reflections are orthogonal is uh, remain valid. Now uh, we will make our picture even more interesting. So we open figure with our three circles and we will add the fourth circle. Now let it will be not a big one and let we color it uh, with some which was not used yet. Now let's put it somewhere here. <coughs> Now we will watch out the uh, corresponding transformation which we will have. So we will as again start from transformation uh, reflection in cycle A, then make a reflection in cycle B. So it will be the second one. Then we do uh, reflection in cycle C, third. Um, probably we need to remove labels. Uh, then reflection in cycle E, of one. And we continue in the round, the second one for A, if, as we can see, number of cycles is uh, doubled each time, because we uh, keep originals and make reflections. So, and it starts to take some time. For calculation. And final reflection in cycle E. So it takes time to calculate with uh, cycles. But the uh, result is that fine structure, which is look like a fractal. So we are going inside and see deeper and deeper level of circles presented here. So that is that Schottky dance example from the uh, In the Pearl book, which we built with the interactive geometry package.